गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड वेलकम टू द जवाई बी एस सी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन थेरी क्लास इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी द सम रिजल्ट ऑफ कॉल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टू सीन दैट द डेफिनेशन और पी डी एफ ऑफ कॉल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन distribution function of cauchy distribution and by using the distribution function we have find the quartiles of cauchy distribution now in today's lecture we will see the some interesting results of cauchy distribution that is some relationship between the cauchy distribution with a uh, beta or f distribution or some a uh, relation between the cauchy distribution so first result is result number 1 that is if x has a standard cauchy distribution then y is equal to x square or simple your x square has distribution beta second kind with parameter 1 by 2 and 1 or you can write it as ki x square has distribution f with parameter 1 comma 1 or degree of freedom 1 comma 1 okay if your x has a standard distribution standard cauchy distribution then x square has beta second kind with 1 by 2 1 by 2 or which is same as the f distribution with 1 comma 1 okay this is the first rule now we will prove it okay we have given that x has a standard cauchy okay so your density function of standard cauchy distribution is 1 upon pi 1 upon 1 plus x square where x is lies between minus infinity infinity and zero otherwise okay <clears throat> now we want to find the distribution of y is equal to x square this is your direct term okay but your pdf of y is equal to x square is generally denoted as 1 upon 2 times square root of y your f of square root of y plus f of minus square root of y okay this is the property of density function if you have to find a y is equal to x square pdf you can see this result in the last year that is sybsc c we, uh, you will be see in the continuous probability distribution paper okay now we want to find this pdf of y that is we have to denoted as y of y which is equal to 1 upon 2 times square root of y your f of root y just replace x by root y so your f of pi into 1 upon 1 plus y square root of y square is simple y plus 1 upon pi into 1 upon 1 plus y to because this minus square root of y square is again simple y so that means this is equal to 1 upon 2 times square root of y into this a plus a that is twice a so this 2 times pi into 1 plus y okay so this 2 and this to get cancel so 
remaining terms is 1 upon square root of y into 1 upon pi into 1 plus y. Okay. <clears throat> Since here if your x goes to minus infinity your y also just infinity or whatever your x tends to infinity y also tends to infinity but your x tends to 0 y tends to 0 so that means the range of y should be positive that means y is like between minus infinity to infinity so your y is greater than 0 so now we will write this part we know that the <coughs> beta 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 is nothing but gamma 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2 divided by gamma 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 1 so your gamma 1 by 2 is nothing but square root of pi into square root of pi which is equal to pi so we can substitute the pi as beta 1 by 2 1 by 2 that is y raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 that is y raised to minus 1 by 2 that is 1 upon square root of y divided by beta 1 by 2 1 by 2 and 1 plus y raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 nothing but 1 where y is greater than 0 and which is the pdf of beta second kind with parameter 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 ok <clears throat> also we know that if x has a EF distribution with an1 and 2 then the density function of this that is f of n1 n2 is nothing but n1 upon n2 raised to n1 by 2 x raised to n1 by 2 minus 1 divided by your beta n1 by 2 n2 by 2 and 1 plus n1 into x upon n2 raised to n1 plus n2 by 2 ok now here if I have to see this pdf this pdf is like, look like this so what we get if you have to put here n1 is equal to 1 by 2 and n2 is equal to 1 by 2 then 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2 1 so this term is 1 x raised to your n1 is 1 so 1 by 2 minus 1 same here n1 is n2 is 1 that means if here I have to put the n1 is equal to 1 and n2 is equal to 1 in this pdf then we get the this density function so that means y is equal to x square has also yep distribution with 1 and 1 ok so this is the result of quadratic distribution one of the very interesting result ok further we will see the second result that is if x has a standard Cauchy distribution then 1 upon x has also standard Cauchy distribution okay. <coughs> now we have given that x has a standard Cauchy distribution so density function of 8 is 1 upon pi into 1 upon 1 plus x square where x is lies between minus infinity to infinity and 0 
otherwise okay now we want to find a density function of 1 upon x so we consider that y is equal to 1 upon x okay that means x is equal to 1 upon y okay so your dx by dy is nothing but minus 1 upon y square or you can simply write it as Jacobian that is absolute value of j is nothing but absolute value of dx by dy is 1 upon y square okay now we want to find the density function of y that is g of y is equal to f of x where x is equal to 1 upon y into Jacobian so your f of x is 1 upon pi into 1 upon 1 plus your x square is nothing but 1 upon y bracket square into your Jacobian is 1 upon y square so this is nothing but 1 upon pi into 1 upon your y square plus 1 upon y square into 1 upon y square so this y square and this y square get cancelled only the terms are remaining 1 upon pi into 1 upon this y square plus 1 is nothing but 1 plus y square where if your x tends to minus infinity y also tends to if your x tends to minus infinity 1 upon minus infinity which is goes to the 0 or uh, if you have to put the y x is equal to that means this term is tends to your 0 but whatever the, your x is lies between minus infinity and infinity 1 upon x also lies between minus infinity to infinity so that means your y is lies between minus infinity to infinity and which is the pdf of Cauchy distribution with parameter Cauchy distribution with parameter 0 comma 1 so therefore y is equal to 1 upon x has standard Cauchy distribution okay means if x has a standard Cauchy distribution then 1 upon x is also standard Cauchy distribution okay so next result is that is result number 3 ok so next result we will see it if your x has a standard Cauchy distribution then y is equal to x plus b has Cauchy distribution with parameter b comma absolute value of a where a and b are any real number if a is your positive here if a is your positive then this absolute value is absolute value of a is nothing but simple a so that means here your condition that ki a and b are any real number so that's why here we have write the absolute value of a otherwise if your a is greater than 0 and b is lies between minus infinity infinity so that case this case is Cauchy with b comma a simple okay now <coughs> we will see this proof of this result so we have given that x as a standard Cauchy so density function of 8 is 1 upon pi into 1 upon 1 plus x square where x is lies between minus infinity infinity and 0 otherwise okay now we want to find the distribution of x plus b so we have to consider that y is equal to x plus b so that means your x is y minus b upon a okay 
or your dx by dy x with respect to y derivative is 1 upon x. So now our Jacobian is 1 upon absolute value of a. Okay. Since a is a real number. So only the positive value of a is considered. So now PDF of y is g of y is equal to f of x where x is equal to y minus b upon a into Jacobian. So your f of x is 1 upon pi into 1 upon 1 plus x square is y minus b upon a bracket square into Jacobian is 1 upon absolute value of a. Okay. Now, if I have to simplify it, we get 1 upon pi into this denominator a square. I have to taking the this denominator of denominator is numerator. So, a square upon a square plus y minus b bracket square into 1 upon absolute value of a. Okay. If I have to cancel this a with this a, we get 1 upon pi into absolute value of a upon a square plus y minus b bracket square or uh, simply if I have to write it as absolute value of a upon pi into 1 upon a square plus y minus b bracket square okay where y is here if x is lies between minus infinity to infinity, your y is also lies between minus infinity to infinity. Okay. Since that is your if x tends to minus infinity, y also tends to minus infinity. If x tends to infinity, your y also tends to infinity. So therefore, if your x is lies between minus infinity, your y is also lies between minus infinity to infinity. And which is the PDF of Cauchy distribution with parameter B, this is mu and lambda. So B comma absolute value of A. Okay. So this is the proof of the result number 3. Okay. So in these are the very simple results of Cauchy distribution. Okay, so thank you, thank you so much. In next lecture, we will see the some examples or uh, some very interesting results of Cauchy distribution. We will see in the next lecture. So thank you, thank you so much.